video number two. Yeah. Okay. 31 degrees. It feels it. <coughs> right. Excuse me. I want you to treat me as a pupil at the train stage. Mm -hmm. It's quite a difficult subject. It's one of these multi subjects. Okay. Now uh, you can write them down if you like. Um, it's going to be meeting, crossing the path. Mm -hmm. And it's always going to include this multi-subject of meeting, overtaking, crossing the path, clearance. It's always going to include anticipation because you can't you can't do anything without anticipation, yeah. Okay. So you know anticipation is always going to be in there. So you've only got to remember the other two, yeah. which is meeting, meeting, yeah, and crossing the path, yeah. Are you okay with uh, what crossing the path means? I should be, but well, I'll clarify it for just in case. Well, we're not in roll yet, so give me an idea what you think it is. Was it crossing the crossing the path? When does it apply? I would have thought of it sounds obvious, but crossroads or meeting people at when you turn at a junction. Yeah, if I was turning right by corals there. Hmm. Crossing the path means crossing the path of oncoming vehicles. Oh, yeah? okay, right, yeah, of course. It also ties in with <coughs> on approach if there is somebody coming mm. to make sure I've I've done the mirror signals correctly, yeah? Okay. But it's really important, there's no good getting the judgment on the meeting right and turning into the road and find the summer lady walking across on a zim um, with a zimmer frame and I end up having to stop halfway across here so it's very important I look into the road that I'm turning into mm. any questions on meeting? no, should be okay yeah? yeah? anticipation that's anticipation of all road users pedestrians, cyclists all vehicles, yeah? yeah have you any idea what we'd be looking for? I anticipate you're looking at the speed they're approaching or with other vehicles I mean or if pedestrians are going to cross the road or yeah yeah we're not asking to talk about pedestrians that are not a problem um, oh I see yeah um, uh, pedestrians that are a problem are going to be very apparent yeah they could be very walking very close to the curb they could look over the right shoulder what do you think the first thing I should do um, when I see something that I need to act upon First thing, um, check your mirrors. Yeah, yeah. anticipation is mirrors, yeah? <laughs> it's uh, check the mirrors first, yeah? Um, with, with vehicles nowadays, look at our car ahead, it's got tinted windows. Yeah. It's very hard to tell if anybody's in them, isn't it? Mm. Yeah, it is, it's true. Yeah. Have you any idea how I might be able, I might get a clue to somebody in inside that car ahead? That's a good question, I suppose you could check the door mirrors, see if there's any movement in them. Or look out for t the signs like brake lights on or... Yeah, there's an L on the head. <coughs> Any kind of lights on in the car. Reversing lights, brake lights, indicators, hazard warning lights. Mm. Yeah? Yeah. Um, exhaust fumes. Okay. I believe that's a hybrid ahead. Um, so, the fact that you're stationary, you wouldn't get any exhaust fumes because if you're running on, on batteries, yeah? Mm -hmm. uh, but exhaust fumes are always a sign there. <coughs> Excuse me. Any kind of um, vans where the doors are opening, what are we anticipating there? I'd expect, you know, things get out of them. Well, if the doors are open, it uh, doesn't necessarily mean to say that the workman's working on this side of the road. Hmm. It could be working on that side of the road, so we could be going backwards and forwards, yeah? Yeah. Any questions there? No, it's fine, sir. Right, so we're going to have a look at meeting crossing the pad and my general anticipation right. so if you're going to ask me some um, I'm at a train level 
testing in two and a half weeks time so you're filling in for Fred who can't make it today so I've never met you before so I would expect you to ask some recap questions because you've never seen me drive before okay yeah yeah and so what uh, if you ask me at least one question on each of the subject so I'm sorry it sounds silly to clarify meeting again what cost the path anticipation uh, meeting is meeting is where we've got parked cars either side of the oh, road. Right, of yeah? yeah yeah sorry and with you, yeah. there's not room for three of us to go and <coughs> for the two vehicles to meet safely yeah? yeah of course okay sorry so what might I have to do if the if the obstructions on my side oh you have to wait well, give way to people coming towards yeah. you I'd have to do what we call hold back yeah yeah, yeah. What would you say the hold back position is? Um, as far left as you can, I suppose, and as, as so you can see, for example, you can see the tires on the tarmac on this vehicle. So make sure you've got enough room to go around it. We need to, and that you're not blocking the person coming. Yeah, if it was a tight road, and that was the only gap I had, mm. yes, I could use tires and tarmac, and um, if I had room. I could use a couple of car links, couldn't I? Well, okay, yeah. I wouldn't say as tight to the left as, uh, as possible. It, it's the opposite. It's as near to left to centre as I can. Mm -hmm. But it's not a hard and fast rule, yeah? You must never say... You, you've got to wait left to centre. Because that could block the whole road, yeah? So, so, so look at the situation around you. And see how I deal with it, yeah. <coughs> okay. Now we might not, we might not get a meeting situation, but you still have to uh, find out if I can deal with it. So how are you going to do that? I ask you questions, or if uh, you could say, uh, imagine the car coming towards you. Yeah. Can you show me where you'd wait? Okay. Yeah. It's. It's really important to bring up cyclists as well, yeah? Sure, okay. Yeah? Um, where anticipation is concerned, yeah? Because they are very vulnerable. It's like a pedestrian, but they can move a lot quicker, yeah? Yeah. You okay with that? Yeah. It's a tiny. Should you try it? Give it a go. We're going to roll, please, sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Should we go on a roll? Yeah. yeah. Okay, hello, Tony. Nice to meet you. My name's Rob. Hi oh, Rob, hey, you right? Yeah, good, thanks. I understand you've got a test coming up soon. Yeah. A few weeks' time? Yeah. Okay, um, so the instructor can't be here today. No. But I had a chat with him on the phone and he said, let's go have a little drive and we'll concentrate on um, anticipating a meeting, crossing the paths, and then anticipating other vehicles. That's what he said, yeah. Yeah, you look at it today, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I'll ask you a few questions before we get going just to All see right, yeah. how yeah. you feel with it so far. So, um, so if you're crossing the path, for example, if you're going to turn right into the street here, what would you have to take into consideration before you commit that manoeuvre? Well, providing I don't make the vehicles coming towards me slow, stop or swerve, it's okay for me to carry on, isn't it? Okay. Well, um, well once you've made the turn, what could you be looking out for there? Oh, I've got to look into the road I'm turning into. Yeah, what are you looking for? Anything. There's not much point in the start of something I can't finish, is there? Mm. <laughs> Well, if there was a pedestrian there, though, for example, what would you have to do? Depends where the pedestrian is. Yeah. If they're in the middle of the road, I'd probably wait where I was. Yeah, good. Well, if they're at the side of the on, on the pavement, what would you do then? I'd carry on with caution, make eye contact with them. Yeah. Okay, good. And um, so, a meeting. Yeah. Say, for example, it's quite clear here. You say there was parked cars on the other side, and there was a car coming towards us. Yeah. Um, what would you do in that? Situation. Well, there's parked cars on both sides. Yeah, if we see where those bright bins are, for example. On, yeah. One's parked over there, yeah, and a few up further up. Yeah. And there's a car coming towards us. Yeah. So, we've got cars on each side. What? How would you approach that? So, you're, you're approaching that vehicle that's coming towards you. I'll check my mirrors and uh, hold back. Yeah, good. And what position would you hold back at? Um, kind of half in, half out. As near to left centre as I can, yeah. without blocking the oncoming traffic. That's good. And what's the reason for that? Can you tell me?
Well, so the people behind know what I'm doing. Yeah, good. Okay. If I go in too tight to the curb, they might think I'm parked, won't they? Uh, this is anticipation, for example. So there's a van parked up. Yeah. And the door's open. Yeah. What might you anticipate in that situation? There could be workmen around. Yeah, good. Or work people. Yeah. And how would you how would you proceed if that was the case? Uh, check and release. It's very good. Yeah. Reduce yeah. my speed. Okay, and also we get vehicles like this one in front when the window's tinted, so there might be someone in there, but we're not sure you could be able to pull off. How would you know? What sort of signs do you look for that there's someone in there and they might do something? Oh, you sometimes see uh, indicators or brake lights or reversing lights. Yeah, it's good. They could, they could pull away or they could um, they could be just getting ready to exit the car, couldn't they? Yeah. And if you think they were to do any, any either of those things, what would you, how would you approach the situation? Uh, again, it's anticipation, isn't it? Uh, check the mirrors. Yeah. Yeah, that's good, okay. Tony. Yeah. You okay, any questions? No. Oh. Okay, so. Right, remember another theory. Yeah? Yeah. But once I get on the move, I've got a lot of things going through in my mind. Okay. So don't think that, that I'm making life difficult by <clears throat> not doing exactly what I, what I just told you I'd do on the move. But it's different cut the fish when the car is moving for a few people, isn't it? God, I imagine you've forgotten all that, I suppose. Yeah. Really. <laughs> Should I get ready? Yeah, if you get yourself set up, please, Tom. Before we go off, Sonny, can you say what you see in the middle mirror, please? I can square the whole back window. I can see the headlining at the top, the bottom of the window. A bit of my head restraint and a bit of yours. Good. And how about the left door mirror? What do you uh, see? Yeah. I can see the two door handles. I can see that pedestrian walking down the pavement. Good. I can see the sky and the traffic lights. That's great. And finally, your right mirror, please. Again, I can see the two two door mirrors. I can see the road. I can see the, uh, the red car at the junction, traffic lights and the sky. Yeah. That's great. Thanks, Tony. So when you're ready, just down pull off please. Are you conditioning? Yeah. And we're gonna turn right. Okay. So if you take next turn on the right please, Tony. What are you gonna anticipate whilst you're making this turn? What are you gonna be looking out for? Oh um pedestrians. Very good. Yeah. If there was a pedestrian in the middle of the road here, what would you have done? Sorry? If there was a pedestrian crossing in the middle of the road, what would you have done there? Um, toot the horn of them. No, you don't do, what, if you did that, it might, you know, what could it do to them rather than... Uh, uh, speed them up a bit. Yeah, it could, it could, uh, it could upset them, it could startle them, couldn't it? It might confuse oh, them. So, what, if you don't want to scare them, what's the best course of action to take? I suppose, just let them cross. Exactly, yeah. And turn it left. Can you turn left here, please, Tony? Again, what could you anticipate as you turn left out of here? Um, I doubt I'll get a meeting situation here because it's a uh, one-way straight, isn't it? Sorry, I meant in terms of biggie, but I meant in terms of pedestrians, sorry. Oh, yeah. And turning left. And left it, please. And what can you see here, Tony, as you're turning out? Uh, two young ladies walking in the road. Exactly. Let's approach these lights, Tony. Say there was a, a delivery lorry just before the lights and it was parked. Um, what would you do? How would you approach the situation? There's a cyclist coming towards us. Imagine that lorry was on the left hand side where we are now. How would you, how would you approach that? So, yeah, slow down. Good. And why would you do that? Sorry? Why would you do that? That's it, doesn't it? Yeah. And where would you position yourself as you were slowing down? Not too far out, not too far in. Good. Yeah, yeah. I'd we'll just slow down first. And if the cyclists kept coming, though, what would you do then? Stop. Good. And why is that? We turn left here. Turn, hey, turn left, left here, please, don't yeah. 
Yeah, so slowing down is the right answer, isn't it? Well, you want to be stopping, really, because there's a, something vulnerable like a cyclist especially coming towards you, or even a car, because you can't guarantee that they're going to stop for you. And you're either going to get stuck in the middle, or worse, bonk into each other. Yeah, and last time I stopped, I got you know, somebody running the back of me. Oh, sorry, thank you. Yeah, it's a good, really good point. What you should do... Um, well, for example, when you're driving, you turn into a new road. What, what's the first thing you do, in terms of looking around? Look in the mirrors. Yeah. So that's the same thing, isn't it? If you're going to slow down, what do you want to be, what do you want to be doing? Oh, checking the mirrors. Yeah, exactly. And yeah. um, why is that? I need to know how close that vehicle is going. Yeah, good. Because I, I could react differently, couldn't I? You could what, yeah? I could slow down earlier. Yeah. It gives you more time, doesn't it, to... And we're going to turn right. Okay, so you can turn right here, please, Tom. As you're turning right, what are you going to do when this vehicle's coming towards you? How are you going to... Uh, with this situation, what you're anticipating. Um, I reckon I can go there. Oh no, I don't think so. <laughs> I thought I could. They're going a bit fast, aren't they? If you turn into the path of one suddenly, you're going to cause it to slow down. I thought I plenty of time. Yeah. There's a way of judging it, isn't there? Um, yeah, if I can sprint from here to there, I can do it. Yeah, nearly. Not sprint, walk. I'll walk from here to there, yeah? Let's go to... That's what I thought, yeah. <laughs> That's another thing you've got to be really careful of. If someone gives you a signal, like a flash... I think you might be signaling the van. It's a, a warning if they're flashing. They're not supposed to do it, really. So I've never ever assumed that someone's going to let you go if they do that. So if I can walk from that centre line to this road, I can drive it, yeah? Yeah, for me, each side, yeah. One side to the other at a walking pace. No, from the centre line. Is it the centre line? <laughs> Thinking of the other way, so. Is it the centre line? Is it the centre line? I thought it was one cup to the other, is it different? If you're turning in. Which is it? I thought it was one cup to the other, I thought. Is it? Yeah. I'm, out, I'm out of robot. No, I've been using the. Uh, yeah, you are right. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah I'm feeling it. Okay, so then, yeah. So, did, what, can you have a dog or some? Speed on it is here, Tony. Sorry? Do you know what the speed limit is here? Yeah. What is it? 20. Yeah? Well, is it a 20 mile per hour zone? What sort of things could you be looking out for, anticipating? I know. Got any examples? Sorry? Any examples you can think of? Houses, people reverse now, their driveways. Yeah, very good. If you have children playing in the road, for example, if it's, if it's residential. And turning left? You turn left here, please. I have to judge how to turn here, Tony. Oh, yeah, no problem. The what what contestant have got the most time. Oh, yeah, I think, yeah. You know, <laughs> so make them a slow stop and swerve. And how do you judge that? Sorry? How do you judge that? Oh, I'm fine with that. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. That'll roll. I don't know if we're counting worms. <laughs> I thought because it's about a minute ago, I thought it was going to relate it to you. Sorry? I thought we were relating it to a minute ago, sorry. Turn right here, please, Tony. So, what do you have to anticipate here as you're turning right into this road? Check there's nobody cross the road. Yeah, good. If there was someone crossing the road, if they're in the middle of the road, what would you I'm do? Wait. Good. What if they're on the pavement? Yeah, so if I can walk from here to there and... That's it, that's correct, yeah. Walk across. Here. Oh, from there? Yeah, there. beg your pardon. Oh, from, from the left to the right at walking pace. Oh. That's how you judge it. If you can't do that... I've been wondering why people have been uh, giving me funny hand signals. <laughs> yeah, if you can't do that, don't... Like, whatever you do, don't attempt it because you're going to yeah, cause just, out the car to... Just coming out of roll. Yeah. Because I gave you the wrong answer earlier on, you should have come back at me and rechecked it. Yeah, sorry. Yeah? yeah. Okay. And turning right? Turn right, please, Tony. 
What are you going to be looking out for as you turn right in? Anything. Could be meeting pedestrians crossing the road. How about this car coming towards us? Uh, oh, yeah. No, I haven't got room to go there. No, how do you judge? Remember? If I can walk from that curb to that curb, that's it, very good. Making them slow stops, swear if I swear at me. That's exactly it, very good. Anticipating here with this car, for example. What car? The one that just gone past us. You see, he was. You see what he was doing there? Did you notice? No, he was driving over it. I thought he was drifting out of it. No, he just pulled out of it. But to be careful though, because people can be unpredictable when they pull out. They might not be looking where they're going. They might be on a phone. And turning left. He turned left at the end of it, please, Tony. It's part of cars on the left. What danger could they present, do you think, if you're turning left here? People around the, the corner. Um, yeah, very good. I've got to be a lot further over there, haven't I? That's very good. But that van, if there is a door open on our side, what would you have done there if the van had been open the door? Or even if the back doors were open? Slow down. Yeah, why, and why is that? Because there could be workmen or work women or work people around the van. It's a good answer. Not really. Get out of the world. <laughs> what are you looking for people? What's the anticipation tied to? Um, observation? Oh, of course, sorry, yeah. Yeah, so sorry, Tony. Uh, that van, I think he saw the doors open. What would, what would, the, first thing, what would the first thing to do be? Slow down. Yeah, and um, what do you do before you slow down? Before you touch I'll check the coverage, yeah. yeah. And why is that? I need to know um, how close the vehicles are behind me so I can react in good time. That's good. And you and I'm turning left. Can you turn left in please? So I've heard you there's yellow railings and green railings. Yeah. What is that what do you think that signifies there? And these zigzags? Oh, school. Yeah, so what do you have to look out for then? Children. Yeah. Especially at certain times of the day. At uh, all times, really. Straight over. And straight over, please, Tom. What can you see here that you might have to look out for? Sorry? What can you see here that you might have to look out for? Nothing. Side this there. No, he's going that way. Yeah, he's going that way. Might have, um, Come out onto the road though, can be very unpredictable. So there's a van there, Tony. If that door was open, what would you be doing first? Uh, um, oh, checking in the road. Good. It's flowing in. And why is that? Okay, so working across the other side of the road. Yep. So serious, so if you slow down, so check your mirror, Tony, slow down. Yeah. So, with these cars, what, what who's got right of way here, would you say? No cars sorry. coming. Keep going, beg your pardon, sorry. We're looking out for a head here, though. Can you see a head? Oh, I didn't know what they were doing. Oh, yeah, sorry, I didn't see that. Yeah. Can you see there's lots of school children here? Yeah. What, what should you uh, do in this situation? Uh, slow down. What did you do before you slowed? I've checked the mirror. Just very good. And um, why is that? To know how close people are behind. So if there are cars parked on either side, people reversing out of, uh, especially in the, during the school run, there's a lot more to look out for. Because people are parked all over the place, aren't they? And turning right. So, turn right at least. If somebody came through now, I'd, I'd be okay, wouldn't I? Not necessarily, because they might not, they might keep going, they might not stop. So, what's the best, what's the safest thing to do? You're not sure. Late, sure. Sorry? Can I do a bit of practice at that? Do a bit of practice? At that meeting. Um, well done, yeah, should I stop you, sorry. Turning right. 
Is there right please, Tony? What are you looking out for here, Tony? This vehicle is coming towards me. Very good. And how do you judge? Walk from there to there. Exactly, very good. And as you turn in, what are you looking for? Uh, make sure there's nobody coming down the road. How about is it the road you're going oh, into? Oh yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> Sorry, yeah. What could be in the road that you're turning into? Anything. Sorry, yeah, that's right. Give me an example. See a bit further up, Tony, there's a silver car parked on the right yeah. and a black car opposite. Yeah. If there was a car coming towards us, what would you do? What, you mean you want me to show you? Um, yeah, you can if you want. There's one behind yeah. us, so just slow down. This is a good... Where would you position yourself here for a time? Tight in here. Not, not a tight, you want to be more to the um, left of the centre. Oh, that's what I'm doing. Not far over. I thought it was a good position. Uh, he's a bit further over, yeah, really, because... Uh, Why do I need to be further over? I don't know, you'd be causing a blockage there, wouldn't you? Hey? This is right here, isn't it? Well, what is he overtaking me? Oh, you can go now, Tony. Why is he overtaking me? <laughs> oh, I don't know. Sorry? Um. What do you think? Why is he overtaking me? Because you stopped. Where have you... I stopped? You're on the you're quite close, aren't you, to the left? Yeah. Yeah. What's your position? Oh, right, so, yeah. What's your so, position a very strong form of? It gives an indication if you stopped or not, if you're right by the kerb. It's a very strong form of signal, isn't it? Yeah, oh, right, sorry. Yeah? I was thinking I'd have felt that wearing like if you were further over. Sorry? Uh, fair enough, you further, if you were further over, it would have, have gone into you. <laughs> I'm confused, sorry. No wrong. Oh, when you're ready, Tony. I like the way you uh, look, and it reminds me to look. Oh, right, sorry, yeah, you should be anticipating. Or do your um, observations, of course. And turning left. You turn left here, please. Could you use the mirrors? What are you anticipating as you turn left here, Tony? Anything. Could be a meeting situation. Or yeah. pedestrians crossing the road. Good. Okay, so... It's not here, Tony. It's white car. Yeah, I think I've got room there, haven't I? Yeah. got room there. But if you had to wait, though, where would you position yourself if you had to wait for that well, car? It's too late to show you now. I did the same as the last time. Really no, close. the thing is there, you're very close to the kerb, so that looks like you're parked up, you give full signals to people. If you're a bit further out, it's, it's clearer that you're waiting. What do you mean a bit further out? If you, what you want to be, your position it is just left of the centre line, rather than right tight up against the kerb. You can also see a bit more, so if there's a parked car, and you're slightly further out. I don't know what I'm going to do, it's not going to cross the road. You check your mirror there, Tony. What did you check before you stopped there? Yeah, should I have reacted then? You could have, what, slow down slowly, but check your mirrors first, of course, oh, yeah. which we spoke about earlier. And why would you check your mirror if you thought they were going to... Because people are behind me. Yeah. Where else would you check? Sorry? Which other mirror would you check? Not before I move away, do I? Yeah, and why is that? See if anybody's overtaking me. What well, if someone was overtaking? How would you deal with that? I'd have to let them go, wouldn't I? You would, yeah. And turning right. Can you turn right here, please. What are you anticipating here, Tony? The vehicle's coming towards me. And about where the road where you're turning? Sorry? About the road oh, yeah, look into it, yeah, sorry. It's all right, what are you looking for? That. Anything. Could have been traffic stopped or pedestrians crossing the road. Yeah, good. So you're right with uh, observations on turning and anticipating turning. Working out whether I can cross or not. Yeah, we're cross yeah, maybe by yeah. cross. You're okay, you're right to take yeah, responsibility. All, all ties in together, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I think I've got that one. Okay. And turning left. You turn left here, please.
because you see parked cars on the left, Tony. Yeah. What could suddenly happen if you can't if you can't see there's somebody in the car or not? What could you, what should you be wary of? Could yeah, happen. Left. Turn left, there, please. But I can't see anybody uh, in the car. There's not much I can do about it, really, is there? There are signals you can look out for, though. Is there? Yeah. So just make your turn and we'll check that out. So if, if you see a car you're not sure there's somebody in it, there's, there's certain signs you can look out for. Can you think of any of them? And turning right. And right, please. Um, oh, I suppose I might see exhaust fumes. You could do. Or what else? It's like some modern cars you don't get fumed anymore. Come uh, to lights. Very good. If someone, if you saw signals like that, what should you be wary of? What, what do you think could happen with that? Like somebody in the car, doesn't it? Yeah. And turning right. Turn right, please, Danny. So the car came through now. Yeah, it's a good place to. So it's not behind us. So you slow it, Tony. So you want to be positioning yourself. That's more like it. We haven't got lines here in the middle, but just left Kind of half center. in, half head. Yeah, because if you were too far over this way, especially as a van here, you wouldn't be able to see around it, would you? Remember where we were before? We were oh, well, I think I'll get them where you come from yeah. now. Stay as near to the left of centre as I can without blocking the oncoming traffic. Exactly. Good. Then the people behind don't get confused. They don't get confused because they might think you're parked if you're too far left. And oh. they might overtake you if they think that. Have I stopped uh, far enough back from the van in front? You have, yeah. Can you remember TNT? tyres on the tarmac. So if you can see that vehicle, the van's oh, tyres. Oh, oh, I've stopped a lot further back than that, haven't I? Well, you should be alright, isn't it? I've got one and a half car lengths back, haven't I? Uh, how many are you looking for? Um, <laughs> when would I use TNT then? Oh, so if you're in traffic. I'm thinking at least you know you can get around it. How oh, 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 many car lengths are you Shall I drive on? Yeah, when you're ready, Tony. So. So you know if I was going down the road and there was parked cars everywhere? Yeah. And there was just one little gap. I wouldn't be able to leave one and a half to two car lanes, would I? No, you'd have to think about three or four car lanes. Give yourself more... No, more if there's only a small little gap, mm. and it's the only gap in the whole road... I wouldn't approach the parked cars until you're sure it was clear. Turn in there. Turn left there, please. Yeah, but I'm already committed to halfway down the road. What do I do if I can't leave one, of, one and a half to two car lengths? You could put into the gap, wouldn't you? Sorry? What would you do if I put into the gap? I'm not sure the answer is. I'd put yeah, it, yeah how it. much room do I have to leave when I put into the gap? That would be tarred in the tarmac, wouldn't it, if you Oh, is that the same yeah, as... Um, sorry, yeah. When I stop in traffic, if I've got... Yeah, because it's a tight spot. My instructor calls it dynamite. Dynamite, yeah. Uh, if yeah, I've got yeah. dynamite, I've um, I've got room to pull away again. That's it, sorry. Yeah, no, but what if I had loads of cars behind me? Um, what if there are loads of cars behind you, Tony? Anyway? Well, they're not all going to fit into a tight little gap like that, are they? No, they're not. And turning left? Turn left there, please. So what to do in that situation? If you've already gone down, though. Yeah. Then, Would the other car have to uh, let me through? We can't guarantee you'd do that though. Well, I'd hope you would. You don't call it. Yeah. It's not getting me going into that little gap, is there? And there uh, are mm -hmm. 20 cars beyond trying so to find me. So you keep going then, yeah. That's what you're doing real life, isn't it? <laughs> and turning left. Hey, turn left there, please, Tony. Remember how to judge? Turning left there, if it's safe to go, do you remember what the rule is? Yeah, no problem, yeah. What was it? As long as I don't make anybody slow, stop or swerve. Yeah, and how do you, how do you judge that? And turning right. Turn right here, please. I used to, uh, used to walk across um, and walk back real, but I just know from experience now. That's good. Well, you know, you know to walk, if you can walk back and 
Yeah, but well, seventy nine lessons now. I've got yeah. tests in two weeks' time. You want to take responsibility for that then? For, the, for what? For um, judging your your turns if it's safe to go or not. Oh, oh are we covering that today? Sorry, I didn't. Not, Sorry, I no. thought we were covering meeting and uh, crossing the path. We got to be wary of here, Tony. Several things, isn't it? Find me a bit. So, what you on the right and on your left? I was, I was thinking about that emerge back there. Sorry, yeah. Yeah, I thought I forgot what I was meant to be concentrating on. I just did the emerge as naturally now. Yeah? Okay, you know, <laughs> I'm just going to what you do. Sorry. And turning right? Turn right, please, Tony, at the end there. That's the only cyclist we've seen today, isn't it? Oh yeah, pop that one on the pavement. Oh, yeah. Sometimes they go with the right shoulder, don't they? What was that side of these cyclists over there? Yeah. They go with their right shoulder? Yeah, they're riding along and they've been very nosy when they're from behind them on the right shoulder. It. That's because they're checking their blind spot. Make yeah. sure there's not always no change what's going behind, you know. Just going to turn into the mirror. Oh yeah, slow, yeah, check your mirror, Tony. What can you see here on the left? Yeah, I see him standing on the road having a having a gossip. So what did you do if you I did. You did. So. And why why should you do that though? Well, I need to know how close they are behind me. Yeah. And what could that pedestrian have done? Could have stepped back. Yeah. And turning left. Turn left did three times. Yeah, I see the uh, cyclists look over the right shoulder quite a lot. I think they should be watching where they're going. No, they've got to look out for themselves as well. Just like you have to check behind you with your blind spot. Yeah, because they could swerve out in front of you. You see, if you see them, when, they, when you see them checking, that means they're probably going to change direction. Oh, is that what they're doing? Uh, yeah, oh, so right. be very wary that it could mean they're about to swerve. Okay. So where was your positioning there, Tony? I just slowed right down because there's not a lot of room. And where did you position yourself? Or should you position yourself? Uh, I stayed as tight to the uh, left as I could without hitting any parked cars. Yeah. What should you be thinking about parked cars on the left? I'm thinking about that car behind me. It's really worrying me and it makes me feel really edgy. Oh, yeah. 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 I think you're going a bit slow. What's the speed limit here? 30. 30, yeah. So you don't have to go too slow. Cut to some lights now, though, so. Oh, should I go quicker to get away from them? Well, you don't, if there's nothing in front of you, you can go as, up to 30. You don't, know, you don't always, always have to do 30, but if it's safe to do so, you oh, can. Oh, so he'll drop back then, will he? Yeah. Dream on. <laughs> Should I not control the situation if he's that close behind me? Take control of it. Yeah. Should I? We well, you, you did 20 there, weren't you? Yeah, it, there was quite a lot happening there, wasn't there? Yeah, there was, yeah. yeah. My instructor said it's um, it's not always safe to do the speed limit. Oh, I'm so should sorry. I control the situation around me? I'm with you now, sorry. Yeah. Yeah, should I? Control the situation around you, yeah. <laughs> Um, or shall I let him control me? No, I never ever let anyone intimidate you. Oh, no, okay. That's right. yeah. So if someone's up close behind you, don't let it intimidate you because that will take your mind off of what you're supposed to be doing, which is... Is there anything I need to bear in mind if there's somebody very close behind me? You don't want to be breaking... Well, you want to keep an eye on your mirror, yeah? Yeah, that's so, how I knew he was close behind me. Yeah. But is there anything I, I need to be aware of? You need to be aware of your um, brakes, for example, Tony, you? because if someone's close behind you, what must you do with your brakes? Or must not do with your brakes, rather? Well, I have to use my brakes. Yeah, but not... Sorry? But how do you use your brakes? If someone's really close behind uh, you... I take my foot off the gas, put my foot over the brake, and I press it progressively. Progressively, yeah, because if you were to... What would happen if you pressed it hard and there was someone close behind you? It hit me. It hit you, exactly. I wouldn't press it hard, anyway. Well, you said progressively, didn't you? So, yeah. so where are you going to hold back here, Tony? It's good. I thought it was a ball. <laughs> There's a balloon. And turning left. 
need to have a lift here, please. Are we launching out for here, Tony? Okay, so uh, I'm doing the straight. Yeah, what are you doing? Yeah, I'm going to start at the cross. So, that's it, could you wait in? Yeah, I knew if I right. If I had any closer, I would have waved her across. No, if you're any closer... Yeah, she's my never... neighbour. <laughs> She might not recognise you. You should never encourage someone to cross. I know it. Because say... No reason to laugh at my neighbour. Say, I'm sure she's a very nice lady. And turning left. Turn left in, please. Say, he waved the pedestrian across, but there's a car in the opposite direction, and he didn't know that you'd done that. What could happen? Yeah, I wouldn't do it to any pedestrian. I'd just do it to people I know. Yeah, but the car coming towards you from the other direction, they don't know that's your neighbour. Oh, of course, yeah. So what would happen if you waved the pedestrian across? And the oh, car in the direction kept going. Oh, she might get hit by the other driver. Yeah. Yeah. You'd be going to your neighbour's funeral then, wouldn't you? Right. Right. Sorry? You'd be going to your neighbour's funeral then, wouldn't you? Yeah. That you know what happened? So you never ever encourage a pedestrian. I said she was my neighbour, I didn't say I liked her that much. <laughs> I'm sure she's a nice lady. But you never want to <laughs> encourage that also. Okay, what are you anticipating here, Tony? Sorry? What are you looking out for here? I'm, I'm fine, of course, right? Oh, okay. And turning right. Turn right, please, Danny. We're going to park up on the right hand side here. Could you park up on the right hand side please? It's safe and convenient. How did I do? You did well there. A few hairy moments. but <laughs> oh, hairy moments. Hairy moments. Uh, well, I was like with the car close behind you a minute ago. Yeah, the car close yeah. behind me, um, needs to be mentioned, doesn't it? Yeah, I didn't think of that, sorry. Sorry? Didn't think of that. It's one of the most commonest accidents um, on the road, isn't it? Yeah, no, it's just fine. Yeah. yeah, she was very close behind you. Watch this video back, you'll see from the rear camera. She was very close. Mm. You, you weren't quite sure what I should have done about that, yeah? I don't think you quite understand what... Or you gave me the impression you didn't understand that what I meant by I need to control the environment around me. Yeah, I'll sit there now, you don't want to be something intimidated or. Yeah, you're not going to be going yeah. faster, is there? No. What's she going to do if she's driving that close to me at, well, she put at over 20 mile an hour? She's only going to get close to me at 25 mile an hour, isn't she? Yeah. So I've now got a situation where I'm going faster and she's uh, she's still close to me isn't it? Yeah. yeah I keep to my appropriate speed because that was the appropriate speed for that road. Okay. Um there was quite a bit happening wasn't it? Well it was I, at first I didn't think it was slow you see because yeah, it was like that lot of Yeah if anything I need to reduce my speed. Because mm. if anything happens ahead what do I need to do to help control her uh, behind? We need to make her slow go slow so she's going to the back of you. Yeah, but how do I do that? By uh, if I'm going a the environment. If I'm yeah. going a little bit slower and something ahead of me happens, mm -hmm. what advantage have I got? Well you've got stopping this, you've got time to stop. I've got time to get the time to get the brake lights on earlier, haven't yeah. I? Yeah? Yeah right yeah. That makes sense? Yeah sure. Yeah. Think about your part two. Um what, what you did in your part two and what you learned on your part two and related to this, yeah? Mm, okay. Yeah, it's, it's no different, yeah? If she was driving that close to you, you wouldn't have carried on at 30 mile an hour, would you? You no. wouldn't have accelerated to get away from her. <laughs> you need to control the situation, yeah? Yeah, okay. Otherwise it escalates and it ends up... It ends up messy. Yeah, it can end up very messy, yeah. Yeah, because I can guarantee you, if I went to 30 there, and I didn't think it was safe to do 30 there, um, it sh uh, she would have followed me through. Oh, she would have done. Yeah. Yeah. Like. And 
shins at 30 mile an hour to get between uh, stopping at 20 and 30 mile an hour on a dry road is another three car lengths. Mm. That three car, it, it might have pulled um, uh, some speed off. That would have given me time to give her a warning because if she's a brake line, she's going to react, hopefully. Yeah. yeah. Make sense? Yeah, perfect sense. Yeah, I wasn't reading it right. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, you have to remember that we're not always going. Even when you're out with real learners, and you, you discuss with the learner, or you've agreed with the learner, we're going to cover how to meet <coughs> vehicles today. Yeah. Mm. You might not meet a vehicle. And we didn't meet many vehicles, did we? No. But you can actually use your invisible friend. Tony, I want you to imagine there's a vehicle coming towards you now. Show me where to wait, like, like, like we did earlier on, yeah? Yeah, I went in way too close. Way too close to the vehicle in front, yeah? Mm. Um, there may be behind us the driving instructor, done the right thing. He thought we were parked. I'm at Randers, yeah? Yeah. Oh, great, if, yeah, great, yeah, I won't forget it now. <laughs> what if I'd have waited a little bit further back and out a bit, what would he have... They'd assume that you were, well, waiting for someone. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I'll get out, yeah, I'll get out now, perfect, yeah. That makes sense? Yeah, yeah. Obviously, we, um, he wasn't there when we started to do it. If he had a bit, we wouldn't have done it there, because it's only a, a scenario that we're inventing. If it was a real life situation, obviously we'd have to do it, yeah? Um, but, if, but if you keep an eye on the mirrors behind, and you see there's nobody behind you, you can say to me, see that potential meeting situation ahead? Mm. Show me where you'd, uh, where you'd hold back if somebody was coming through, yeah? Okay. Yeah, there's, there's different scenarios. Um, think about going down the road with parked cars both sides of the road. And just a little gap on the left. I, I wouldn't have I wouldn't have room to hold back about two car lengths. Yeah, I'm sure about that. If it's you got to keep going, and if it's if there's people behind you, like you were saying. Well, it, if there's people behind me, he's got to play it by ear, haven't you? Use common sense, haven't you? And well, see, yeah, because I want to an official answer to it or not. You know? And you have, and you have to hopefully hope that the vehicles coming towards you are, are using common sense, yeah. Yeah. Um, but there's nobody behind me and I go into the gap if I leave the tires and tarmac I know from experience of using tires and tarmac that if if I allow that in a meeting situation I will have room to get out again mm. the big advantage of allowing a couple of car lengths if I can is that I can see more ahead I don't have to do so much work on the steering yeah, yeah. which makes life, life a lot easier or you can even use what we call a rolling holdback, do you know what that is? Rolling holdback, well you just use clutch control to keep yourself going very, very... You use holdback. forward planning. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you use forward planning to think, well, if I ease off now, by the time I get there, that white van that's coming towards me will be gone, I can check my mirrors and keep moving. Oh, yeah. That's a rolling holdback, yeah? Okay, yeah, yeah. Make sense? It does, yeah, it's... Um it's funny because it's easy to do all the time, but to actually explain it to someone, that's when it becomes yeah. difficult. You didn't do a bad job on it. You didn't do a bad job on it. Oh, thanks. Yeah? Yeah. Um, yeah, you didn't do a bad job on it for, for a first attempt. It's, everybody hates the subject. It's, it's not as complicated as it's made out to be, yeah? Common sense approach, yeah? Mm. The best way to meet is... Don't complicate it, you... Uh, your pupils by saying, yeah, yeah, steer to me, uh, steer to you. It's going to be all over the place, yeah? Yeah. Tell them, to, you know, stay as near <coughs> to that left to centre without blocking that road. If there's room for the vehicle to get through and they're as near to the left to centre as they can, they're in the right situation, yeah? Mm. Okay. Make sense? Yeah. Let's see that. Watch the uh, anticipation and mirrors are tied in together completely, yeah? Okay. Really important, yeah? Yeah, you can say anything like, yeah, well, yeah, before I break, check the mirror, of course. Yeah, I mean, you've got to remember anticipation. I can't even open the door of this car safely if I don't anticipate what's happening all around me, yeah? yeah. 
if I if I was to open the door without anticipating what's happening around me, boom, we've got a dead cyclist. Yeah? Get inside my head a bit. I had to kind of uh, uh, back you into a corner with the cyclist, didn't I? If I had a cyclist ahead of me, I keep seeing them looking over their right shoulders, yeah? That would have been a nice question for you to put in. No, yeah, yeah, yours is obvious, isn't it? <laughs> if, He's got to change see, direction. Yeah. If you see a cyclist ahead of you, yeah, but this is you trying to get inside my head. You're trying to find out what, what I know. You're filling in for Fred who can't make it today. You, you want to find out if I know how to deal with these situations. Tony, if, it, if you had a cyclist ahead of you and they look over the right shoulder, what would you assume they're going to do? Oh, turn right. And what would be the first thing you do? Well, listen very carefully to my answer. If I say slow down, that's wrong. Mm. What's the first thing I should do? Check your mirror. Check your mirrors. And then slow down. Okay. Yeah? Because the cyclist is going to turn right, isn't he? Yeah. Or he could be going around a pothole. Make sense? Yeah, sure, sure. Good attempt for the first time. Oh, thanks. Yeah? Hmm. You made a good effort there. I was out for staying well for most of the time. It's the first time. <laughs> it, it gets easier, it gets easier. <laughs> if this was easy, everybody would be doing it, wouldn't it? That's very true. Good attempt. Cheers, Tony. Yeah? Let me just get those cameras a pause before you oh. swear at me. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> just keep holding. Yeah. <laughs> Don't forget your dad's watching it. <laughs>